My brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to St. Mark's as we bring to you the service of lessons and carols for Christmas Eve. Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide or care and delight to hear again the message of the angels and your heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass and a babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all his people for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build. And because this of all things would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are forever one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, which, which art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be, done be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread. And, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For, for thine is the kingdom, the power, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. First lesson is from Genesis. 
They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Where are you? He said. I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is it that you have done? The woman said, the serpent tricked me and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. The second lesson is from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Oh, sure. 
A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf, the lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. Then the, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lesson 4 from the Gospel according to St. Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, 
of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. Lesson 5, a reading from the Gospel of St. Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. And Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting her child. While they were there, 
the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. This is the sixth lesson from the Gospel of Luke. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
lesson comes from the Gospel of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born the king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down, and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Lesson 8. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son full of grace and truth the word of the lord thanks be to god Oh, lady. 
The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. Let us pray. O God, our Father, whose word has come among us in the Holy Child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds through him who is Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill, and make you partakers of the divine nature. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Before we have the final prayer, the colic, I want to wish all of you a merry, merry, merry Christmas, despite what's happening around us in this world. For the past several months, truly many persons of St. Mark's have made Jesus Christ incarnational. Incarnational in terms of the way they reached out to one another. They loved each other. They assisted in very practical ways those who needed help. And this is indeed the joy that Christmas has come to mean for all of us. That we not only live for ourselves, but we live for others and we spread the joy that Christ has come to bring to this world. With that in mind, I wish you the joy of Christmas and may this joy continue into 2021. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored our human nature. May we share the divine life of your Son, Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity and now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Was in the moon of winter time when all the birds had fled that mighty Kichi Manetu sent angel choirs instead before the light the stars grew dim and wandering hunters heard the hymn Jesus your Of broken bark, the tender.